We're all together again, we're here, we're here. We're all together again, we're here, we're here. Here we are, learning all together again, learning all together again, we're here, we're here. Hi friends! Thanks for coming back to preschool with me this week. I love learning in preschool, and I'm excited that you are here to learn another letter of our alphabet. Now last week we talked a lot about ice cream. Do you remember when we learned all about ice cream flavors and colors and shapes in ice cream? It was a pretty fun week, but I have some new things planned for us to learn this week. This week as we learn about another letter in our alphabet. We're gonna to get to that in just a minute, but first, let's talk about today. Today is the first day of a new week. So we just had a nice weekend, and the first day of a new week is Monday. If you said Monday, you're right. Today is Monday. What day is today? What day is today? Today is Monday. Nice job. Today is Monday. Now we have seven days in every single week and Monday is just the first day of the week. So let's sing our song that talks about all the days of the week, right? I have my poster right here for you. Are you ready? All right, <gasps> days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Nice job. There's another song that has to do with the days of the week and we'll sing those on another week, but I have a question I wanna ask you first. All right, if today is Monday, what day was yesterday? Yesterday, if you remember, is the word that we use when we're talking about the day before today. So on my chart right here, when we talk about before, it's going to be the day just above. So I'm gonna go do, 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 do. Yesterday was Sunday. All right, I'm gonna use my microphone now. It's my turn. Yesterday was Sunday. Now I wanna hear you say it, okay? Yesterday was Sunday. That's correct. All right, one more question. If today is Monday, what day is tomorrow? Tomorrow is the word we use when we're talking about the next day of the week. So tomorrow is, did you say Tuesday? Tomorrow is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Now I wanna hear you say it. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Very good. All right. We also have months in our year, right? Do you remember our months of the year song? There are 12 months and they almost don't all fit on my camera here. We have 12 months in our year, isn't that fun? Now where I live, it is a summer month. It's very hot and the sunshine is always out. Can you show me a big sun? Yeah, it's warm outside. So let's sing our months of the year song. Are you ready? January, February, March and April, May. June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months are in a year. One more time. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months are in a year. All right, boys and girls, let's do our alphabet. Now, we are learning a new letter in our alphabet. So I'm gonna show you my alphabet chart here and then we can go through all the alphabet and then we're gonna see if you can find the letter C. Are you ready? All right, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, 
L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Very good. Here are all 26 letters in our alphabet. Now, last week we learned the letter C. Can you look and see if you can find that letter C? Here it is. K -k -k. The word cat starts with the letter C. We talked a lot about that last week, didn't we? There's that letter C. Now we are gonna learn a new letter this week. It's gonna be this one over here. Do you see this letter? Do you know what this letter is? This letter says fish. This is the letter F. We're gonna talk a lot about the letter F this week. Now we are going to go ahead and practice our scripture that we are learning this month. Last month, we recited it every day we had preschool. So we're going to use our actions and try to remember all those words. The scripture is found in Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Now, I'm going to say it first, and then you will repeat after Miss Kaylin. All right? Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Please repeat with me. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Let's make the sound of the letter F together, okay? Now the letter F sounds like this. When you use your bottom lip and your top teeth and you kind of put your bottom lip on top of your teeth and you go, push all of the air out of your mouth. It's like wind coming out of your mouth. So there's not really any sound, it's just the sound of wind. Can you make the sound of F? Very good. Now this is what the letter F looks like. We're gonna practice writing the letter F in our ABC notebook and we'll practice it together as a class. But for today, we just wanna learn what it sounds like. Can you think of some words that have the sound? Let's go over a couple of words, okay? So this is the picture of a fox. Fox. Do you see how the letter F is at the beginning of the word fox? Fox. All right, let's think of another one. This is the word food. 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 Food is at the beginning of the word, or F. F is at the beginning of the word food. All right, we're going to do one more. Do you know what this is a picture of? This is a picture of a farm. Farm. Farm has the letter F at the beginning of the word. Farm. We are gonna talk a lot about farms this week. Now, the letter F can also be at the end of words. And we'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of the week, okay? But for now, we just wanna think about what does the letter F sound like? All right, let's practice some numbers, okay? Today's activity, when you go to do your table work, is going to be learning your numbers and practicing to recognize those numbers and what each of those numbers look like, and then you're gonna match them with some farm animals. All right, so I'm gonna show you a number, and then we're gonna do some counting, okay? So let's count to number five first, and I want you to use your fingers, so put your fingers up. All right, now, first we're gonna start with zero fingers. Boop! Can you put all your fingers down? 
All right, now let's start with the number one. And in my corner over here, I'm gonna put the numbers as we count them so you can see what they look like. Are you ready? Count with me, okay? Oh, let me get my microphone so we can count together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Did you get all five of your fingers up? Five, very good. Let's practice with a few pictures. Now we have fish on this card. Do you see all those fish? Do you think you can count those fish with me? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four fish. Here's the number four. Four fish. Good job. All right, let's do this one. You see this picture? There are airplanes on this card. All right. One, two, three. Three. Three airplanes. Here is the number three. Three airplanes. You see that? Let's do another one. Ooh. K -k -k. Do you hear that sound? Car. Car. Car has a letter that we learned last week. The letter C. All right, let's count the cars starting with the red one. One, two, three, four, five. Five cars. Five. Very good. Let's do two, one more. You see this one? Little bees, they're like little bugs, huh? One, two, two bugs, two. Good job. Now, it's time for us to go down and get our table work started. So today's activity, we are going to be practicing those numbers. So what you need to do is get these cards from your activity book and you're gonna need something that you can use to mark the correct answer. So you can use little clips or erasers or counting bears or something like that. Now let's go to the table and I'm gonna show you how you're gonna finish today's activity while we practice our numbers with these fun little farm cards, okay? Here is today's activity. Now you're gonna to wanna to have all of your farm pieces pr printed out. And then just a collection of either some, I have little pom-poms here, I have some of these clips. You can have one or both or anything that you want to help show me which one is the correct answer, all right? So the first thing that you do is you get the first one and you see how many are there in the picture? Well, this is just one barn, isn't it? So now we need to see which one of these is the number one. As soon as you find the correct answer, you get your little marker, either a pom-pom or a clip, and you put it on there. This is the number one. All right, then we move this one to the side, and we get our second one here. Now we have some corn. We have to count how many corns are here in the pictures. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, four. Now we have to look at these pictures down here and see which one is showing me the number four? As soon as you figure which the right answer is, you can get your little marker and you can clip it on there. And then that'll show that you have the right answer. All right, then you move this one over to the side and you get your next one. And then you can do all of these. You can do them as many times as you want, as long as it's still fun for you to be learning, okay? Now it's time for you to go and complete your activity for today and your ABC workbook or your alphabet practice. So you need to practice writing the letter F and then you need to do your clip project, okay? So figure out which one is the correct answer and mark them all off so that you can practice those numbers and letters. And we will see you again tomorrow when we begin to practice that letter F. All right, my friends, bye. Thank you.